All right, we've got the Breville, a Breville, however you say that, the Diecast Smart Toaster. I've already unboxed it. Uh, it's a toaster, so I didn't see the need to unbox it, but it was packaged well. Um, it does come with um, a nice user manual uh, in there, and uh, we've read through that. It's very descriptive for the most part. So uh, on on the top of the uh, four you know slot bread Breville toaster, you've got the same buttons just uh, mirrored. Right, you got toast, lift and look. It does pause the time limit so you can look and see uh, if it's brown to your liking or not, bagel, frozen, and then you can add a bit more time. And so it's pretty, you know, self explanatory. It's nice. The bread fits in here easily. And um, you can also go down here and you can set your timer. And you can see that also the LED lights up, right? And uh, um, that starts to blink once you press this. So when I hit the toast, bread goes down and then you can see the timer starts there. And it actually starts toasting the bread. And it's pretty smooth, it's nice because you can actually watch the LED blink and as the timer continues to um, go down, those LED lights disappear, just like you, you would see at any timer of this you know method you can see it's already starting to go down if i want to just take a look right i can lift and look it pauses that timer right where it's at brings that bread up and then goes right back down so just a quick peek at the bread but it's well built it's it's a solid piece of uh you know, metal and uh, a few plastic pieces. These little these little knobs are plastic, um, but this is a stainless steel. Of course, you know the cooking elements inside, as you can see, are all stainless steel. On the sides, it's very clean. And you know, the plug, as you can see, does have a, a, a hole in it, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, but it is a nice thick cable to go along with the, you know, just being a toaster and such. And then you do have your crumb trays here on the bottom. You just pull those out. There's some crumbs right there. And then take those out and just empty them. Any activity does light up the side. So it does you know, notice any interactions with it and prepares itself to be ready to toast if you touch those things but as you can see we've got just a little bit more time here on that toast you can still you can bring it up again and take a quick look you can see it's starting to brown a little bit not too much but and if we wanted to we could also say like hey let's add a bit more time so it'll actually add a little bit more time to the end of the toasting, just to brown it a bit more. Almost out of time there. And it will toast without bread in there. If you do hit the button, it'll bring it down. But all you have to do is hit that button again to cancel it. It's nice having that light because you can go around into the kitchen and, you know, do other things. You know, it's, now it's all done. All the lights are white. And you can see, did a really good job. Evenly browned on both sides. This was the end piece, so you're not going to see that. But, um, 
so far uh, with toast we've toasted and bagels everything's been really well toasted and nice having that timer feature and it does this looks nice and clean and sharp and uh definitely recommend it if you're willing to spend a lot extra money on a toaster i know it's you know it's the higher end toaster but it does a great job recommend the breville diecast smart toaster